In this video, we're going to talk about full screen responsive design Captivate projects. So part of my day is checking what people are saying about Adobe Captivate and e-learning in general on social media. And when you see two different posts or two different questions on social media about the same topic, that's probably an indicator that it's something I should probably address in one of my videos. So today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, getting your responsive design project to go full screen and why it doesn't from the beginning. So here I am in Adobe Captivate and you can see I've selected a blank project right here and you'll notice that there is a canvas size and I can choose uh, any number of different canvas sizes to select here, but I can also choose custom and I can type in the values that you see here. But with responsive design, there's nothing like that. Let's go ahead and create the project in responsive design. The assumption is, is that responsive design will adjust itself to any size device, but there's always sort of a predetermined upper limit. So you can see here that the maximum layout size is for this desktop configuration here. And the default values are 1024 by 627. And those have been chosen to be, you know, approximately the size of an iPad screen. So it's appropriate for a lot of users. So I've opened up this uh, quick start project from Adobe. They've just added a bunch of new assets in the assets window and this uh, safety course uh, template is one of them and um, just using this as an example here if i preview this project let's say i preview uh, this on live preview i can use my tablet or my smartphone to preview what this project will look like here so i'm just going to open up the camera app in my tablet here and we'll point at the QR code which is on screen here and you can see that this will preview on my tablet nicely and of course if I it fills the screen right so if I do it here on landscape mode it also fills the screen as well I'm trying to hold this so I don't get glare on the screen but you can see essentially that it fills the screen uh, which is fine, but here's the problem. If I decide to preview this project in my desktop computer's browser, uh, it's only going to go to that maximum size of 1024 by 627. So I'll show you what this looks like in the browser. And this is what I think some of the people who've seen uh, are referring to. Now, I have scaling turned on with my computer because of the recommended uh, scaling is is actually 125 uh, percent so this might look different on different people's monitors but you can see even with the preview at a hundred percent i'm still only seeing a portion of the viewport of my browser now you can increase the size of your responsive design project of certainly uh, you can decrease it as you view this course on smaller devices. You will see a smaller version, but the maximum is going to be the settings for your desktop layout. If you decide that you want to go larger, you certainly can. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to modify the project and rescale the project. Now, keep in mind on some people's uh, screens, the height of 627 might be perfectly fine. It might not be enough. But in this case here, we can check maintain aspect ratio if you don't want to distort anything. And you could say bump this up to 1280, for example, or, you know, 1440 is another common resolution. And you could try that. So we finish this project, resize it. And, you know, some things will change, of course. You'll certainly get um, certain objects that were designed for 1024 by 627 will now tile into other versions of themselves. But in theory, everything should work. You might have to supply your project with larger versions of certain images. 
Let's go ahead and publish this for devices here. I'm going to uncheck zip files because I want to see the project when we're done. And we'll go ahead and publish this. And we're asked, of course, because we didn't zip it up, if we'd like to view the output, let's go ahead and say yes. So here it is in my browser. As you can see, that's much closer to full screen. Uh, again, I'll probably want to choose uh, different images to make this whole thing work, but generally it's going to work well. And it's certainly with responsive design, the advantage is, is that everything should resize to all the various different browser sizes on different devices that you'll see. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.